Hey guys, so I'm going to be reviewing Elite Series 53, Chris Jericho, and Heath Slater. So right here I have a my basic Chris Jericho. Um, so let's put the descriptions of them. Oh, and there's Rhino. Okay, so let's do Heath Slater first. Uh, he's 6 foot 2 inches. He's from Pineville, West Virginia. Um, his signature move is smash hit, and he's from... He had... The championships he has won is a SmackDown Tag Team Champion, WWE Tag Team Champion, and he weighs 216 pounds, and this ring attire from No, no Mercy. And now we have Chris Jericho. He's six foot. Now uh, he's went from Winnipeg, Man Manitoba, Canada. He weighs 227 pounds, and he's from SmackDown. This is the ring attire from SmackDown July 7th. Ah, the glare. Um, and the code breaker walls of Jericho, um, he was the first ever undisputed champion, which we did get a, a elite of that at Toys R Us, is, and is also the place where I found these two. So he did win the undisputed, well no, he won these two at, in the same mat night, and he won the United States Championship. So, over here I got the Rhino that goes along with the Heath Slater. I have him right here with the tag with the tag team championship since he Slayer has won that one and the SmackDown one. I believe they were the first ever SmackDown tag team champions, I'm not sure. So I went ahead and cut the uh how you call them? The rubber bands off of them. So here's the figure diorama piece. I think this is the last the last diorama, diorama instead of the painting and I think it's the last time for the packaging um, this type of packaging so let's move these and that was my only Chris Jericho I have he he did invent the uh, ladder match I'm not sure if he was a money in the bank but he did invent one of those two I don't, I don't remember so here's the other Smackdown Tag Team Championship Here's Heath Slater, but first, before I review him, let's take out Chris Jericho. Um, he, this one comes with that I Got Kids shirt. Okay, there's the pieces. And this one comes with the list of Jericho and the pin of Jericho. Whatever you want to call it. And it comes with a scar. Okay, that was the hardest figure to take out. Um, it comes with a gray scarf. I, rem I think the other one came with the black one. The GameStop exclusive. I did see the GameStop exclusive. But it was too much money just for elite figure. Okay, so here's the figure... Let's review this one first. Has that old head scan without the beard. And then on the back it says GOAT. There you go. And then it says Jericho on both um, boots. And then he comes with those small knee pads, not the other ones. Um, this is the second scarf I ever have or, or get, whatever you want to call it. And this is the list of Jericho and the pen of Jericho. I'm just going to call it the pen of Jericho, Jericho since he wants to call everything Jericho. Right here is a small tattoo. It's put on that scarf like he's about to put y'all on the list of Jericho. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So here's Heath Slater. Um, he was the tag team champion, SmackDown tag team champion. And I think that's the only titles he has ever won. On the back of this shirt, it says, I need this job. And this is a different type of shirt. It's not like the other one. Um, I have one of these, but it's it's a t-shirt with, with the sleeves. But it broke easily. It was the Randy Orton one. I don't remember which series. On the... On the 
right there it says Slater. And then, I uh, can't tell what that says. I, I, I can't tell that. Um, and then, on the boots, it has S for Slater. And then this, I think they used the old head scan and just made him smaller hair. There's the head scan. He has a bunch of tattoos, I can't tell them either. So here's the, um, the first ever tag team, SmackDown tag team champions, I believe. It was Rhino and Heath Slater. I don't know. I don't know why they took so long for this Heath Slater, and they took so little for it. Rhino Elite. Um, but I needed this figure, so that's why I picked it up. Every single figure I need, I pick it up. It's only if it's a um, person who doesn't really matter. I wait till they're on clearance or something. But anyways, if you like this figure review, click like and. Comment down below which of these two is your favorite. And I'll see y'all guys next time. And I'm doing a giveaway. So subscribe for that.